appreciate it. I very appreciate all what you are talking about it. Good day and good day to all the viewers of our media. Thank you. As global cooperation stands challenged by events in the world, some stakeholders are determined to bring about positive change and practical solutions to some of the major problems of mankind. Embrace Plus Forum is one of those platforms that gather politicians, business magnates, civil society, economic experts, among others, to generate an intellectual agenda for the global municipal community with the current specific needs of the times and the society. The forum that ran from November 24th to 26th, 2022, focused on the theme, Humankind and the World, creating trends and embracing the new. It equally had great panel discussions of topical issues like the future of alternative energy, dialogue between government and business businesses emphasizing on the via small and medium sized enterprises development as a key goal, healthcare, digital technology, among others. However, a concern this day on the program views on the continent is to look at the prospects for Africa in uh, the uh, in the forum, and we ask him this question: Does it represent a fertile platform or a fertile ground for exchange of ideologies, knowledge sharing, technology that could help solve some of the major challenges? faced by the continent Africa. It should be noted that the International Municipal uh, BRICS Plus Forum is an annual business forum hosted by St. Petersburg with the support of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation and the government of St. Petersburg. The project's mission is to make the Russian Federation a center of cooperation for the cities of the world. The Imbrix Plus Forum is a unique and innovative format of international events. The purpose of the forum is to promote the integration of positive international experience, local implementation uh, of state, uh, state stakes, development of social and economic well-being of municipal territory introduction of information, digital, and innovative technologies in the daily activities of major cities in developed countries, uh, uh, developing countries. And the forum focuses also on the social, socio-economic development of uh, regional and municipal territories, increasing the investment attractiveness of cities in Russia and other member countries, strengthening relations between the BRICS countries and other states and promoting a positive image of the Russian Federation abroad. I very appreciate all what you are for joining us on this first edition of the program uh, views on the continent uh, for the week uh, on your pan-african television afric media today we are going to discuss the imbrix plus uh, uh, forum uh, that concluded uh, last week uh, and of course we are looking at the prospect uh, the place of africa in uh, the uh, international arena like we highlighted already in our preamble the world is taking a different turn and of course uh, uh, there are change in trends. How can Africa uh, make itself felt in the international uh, uh, arena? And how uh, does the Imbrix Forum present uh, itself as a great opportunity for African stakeholders uh, to uh, actually uh, partake in the knowledge sharing uh, uh, event uh, to see how we can uh, bring solutions uh, to the uh, problems of the African continent. That's our focus uh, for today and the program views on the continent. Uh, just to remind us that this is an informative as well as interactive program. You can follow us via Facebook and Afric Media. Drop your comments. What do you think uh, about uh, Africa's redefining its own, or her own place in uh, the uh, 
arena or in the international arena and this is views on the continent you are most welcome time for us to uncover the panel this day that we're going to or it's going to uh, bring more highlights on the the inbricks forum and of course looking at the perspective for the continent africa taking you straight away to moscow we are going to meet uh, uh yulia beck she is a political uh, scientist it's a pleasure having you this day yulia Hello, I'm um, happy to be here as well. Uh, it's, it's always a pleasure. Looking forward to having a fruitful discussion uh, with you on this uh, topic. Uh, let's go to, we are staying in Russia, uh, this time around to St. Petersburg. We are meeting uh, Otsamazok Alphonse. She, he is the VA coordinator of Bless Action for Africa, uh, official uh, ambassador of, of uh, Imbrix Forum Cameroon. Hello to you, Mr. Alphonse. A pleasure having you this day and welcome to the Pan-African Television Africa Media. Hello, Clarice. It's a, it is a privilege for me to be here today in this panel of Africa Media. I thoroughly hope that with uh, Julia and Rishab, uh, it will be a great opportunity for me to share the experience of the INBRICS forums that happened between the 24th and 26th, November 2022. It was a wonderful and exciting moment between BRICS countries, African countries, and other developing countries of the world. Uh, we will have time to share everything here. So we are looking forward to having a very positive and a constructive discussion with you. Uh, Mr. Alfonso joined today also is uh, Mr. Richard Seti. He is an international relations expert who doubles as a civil, uh, civil diplomat. Hello to you, Richard. A pleasure having you this day. Hello, good evening, Clarice. It is great to see you once again and to our colleagues and friends, Julia. And Alphonse, and uh, today would be happy to share the great insights that happened during the IM Bricks Fourth IM Bricks Forum in Saint Petersburg last week. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you to uh, thank you uh, uh, for honoring this invitation. Of course, uh, the world is taking another uh, dimension, another shape, and things are changing. How does the Imbrix Forum come in? And of course, how can Africa uh, uh, redefine its position in the international arena or the international fora to make good use of the available opportunities while the continent seeks, of course, to define a clear economic trajectory social and political uh, trajectory and you can name the rest you are most welcome for those of you just tuning in this is views on the continent on your pan-african television of course i'll start uh, with you uh, dear yulia uh, let's before going to look at uh, uh, the uh, uh, importance or the prospects of the african continent and the just ended in bricks uh, plus firm let's get a holistic uh, uh, understanding of what this uh, forum is all about and of course its objectives. Um, well, uh, since I'm also a member of the organizing committee and the person who witnessed how the forum idea itself appeared, let me tell you um, a little bit of its uh, background. And in this case, um, African continent was not only the cradle of humanity, but also the cradle where the idea to, um, to organize those um, uh, international municipal forums came about. So it was during South African presidency uh, in BRICS um, almost five years ago when uh, Mikhail Chiripanov, uh, at that point, he was the head of municipal council of uh, uh, a small locality in St. Petersburg, Russia. So he came to uh, the Civil Bricks Forum in uh, Johannesburg. And that was when he um, was uh, taken by the spirit of Bricks, by the spirit of international cooperation, by the spirit of um, Africa. And South Africa was actually the place where this idea appeared, right? So then um, Mr. Cheripanov traveled to India and he already um, started some, um, some organizational, some more, let's say, down to earth discussions. And that's how the first uh, international municipal BRICS forum was organized. 
Then the forum faced uh, two years of pandemic restrictions, and for that reason, it was uh, um, taking place in quite a limited format. So I'm happy to say that the fourth uh, forum that took place this year was finally uh, a full-scale event. And despite some of the issues that many participants faced face due to complicated logistics to Russia, uh, still the forum was a huge success and it was taking place at the same venue where the uh, St. Petersburg Economic Forum um, is uh, regularly taking place. So it was uh, a beautiful place that gathered a lot of uh, amazing people from different countries. And it was also a place for practical discussions and a place for signing agreements. So there were more than 40 different uh, sessions that were dedicated to different topics from urbanization and environment to uh, healthcare, social issues, digital technologies, and many others. And during the forum, 153 uh, agreements were signed between different entities, business and municipalities. So the idea of the forum is to create direct horizontal ties between municipalities and small, medium and large businesses, not only of BRICS countries, but of, let's say, anyone willing, because this plus in the uh, in BRICS plus stands for just being open to different types of partnerships. And this year we've seen quite big delegations from Latin America, quite big delegations from African countries. And I think my colleagues would be able to elaborate more on how it felt like to be a guest of this uh, forum and an active participant of the discussions, an active participant of, uh, you know, business talks. Thank you, uh, thank you, dear Yulia, for the uh, uh, introductory statement of what uh, uh, in Bridge Forum Plus is uh, uh, is all about. Eh? And of course, we are going to continue with you, Mr. Alphonse. You participated in uh, this year's uh, forum in your capacity as in Bridge Ambassador to Cameroon. So let's look at uh, uh, the perspective of this uh, relationship or of this forum to the uh, African continent and, and especially to the country Cameroon where you represent as, as as the official ambassador of Inbricks Forum so Cameroon and international mobilization in Africa what I want a Cameroonian and African to understand today is that Inbricks Forum is a great opportunity is a platform of many opportunities is a fertile ground for exchange of knowledge. The INBRIX Forum is a fertile ground for exchange of technology. The INBRIX Forum is a fertile ground for economic opportunities. The INBRIX Forum is a fertile ground of business contact. The INBRIX Forum is a fertile ground for project and funding mobilizations. During the INBRIX Forums, it is the best moment for African municipalities and African companies to get in touch with other uh, in-BRICS municipalities and in-BRICS companies. There are different business cafes, business contact, business connection that enable to our company to uh, develop sustainable partnership or cooperation with other enterprises or companies where that will help them to develop joint ventures, close term, in order to reboost our African companies. During the INBRICS forums, the opportunity were given to all the African countries that participated, Guinea-Bissau, Cameroon, South Africa, and DRC, to present their project. All those countries presented their project. All those countries discussed, the mayors, the different mayors of these countries discussed, with mayors, Russian mayors, Indian mayors, South African mayors, Brazilian mayors, and many of them signed agreements. They signed agreements. Even all the businessmen and the businessmen of different African countries that participated, they got in touch with other businessmen of three countries, and they signed agreements. They also presented their projects. 
and many of them are already discussing about the fundings of their projects and everything. It is a great platform for opportunities for we Africans. We Africans used to only have partnership on international scenes with European Union countries, with United States of America. But today, BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are presenting new opportunities. They are presenting new collaboration in the international scene. Win-win, South-South cooperation. I encourage many African municipalities and many African businessmen to get in touch and to get connected with the INBRICS forum so that they too can lay hold of these different opportunities. It so was Alphonse, very Gita, amazing. Opportunities for countries in Africa and particularly in Cameroon. But then the problematic lies on how ready uh, these countries are to take, uh, make good use of the advantages uh, like you presented because the forum presented an opportunity for business to business meetings and world of view. But then uh, how ready are uh, Africans' uh, government to take practical uh, practicality? Uh, it's not all about signing agreements, then going uh, uh, a mass to see now that it is practical and the objective is met. We are going to continue in uh, the same uh, perspective with you, uh, Richard uh, City. Uh, of course, uh, uh, let's look at, we know that uh, the, the BRICS uh, is uh, being driven by the forces of uh, uh, global economic uh, development. Uh, and of course, let's look at how realistic uh, this is, uh, especially in the present uh, uh, challenging world and given uh, that uh, uh, the Imbrix uh, Plus Forum was holding, of course, during a very turbulent moment uh, uh, in the world, like we underlined, uh, global uh, uh, cooperation has been hijacked because of the unfoldment in the world. How, therefore, can the Imbrix Forum uh, go ahead or be realistic with its uh, uh, goal of ensuring a global economic development? Uh, thank you very much, Clarice, for your question. Firstly, Clarice, I would like to say that I feel that I am BRICS Plus Forum is a great initiative because it is working as a platform at a grassroots level. How and why? Because firstly, they have an idea to connect with the municipalities of the BRICS countries and the BRICS friendly countries, which we call it as now BRICS Plus countries. So. The municipalities are those which are very closely connected with those people which are living in their locality. So at the same time, these municipalities are coming to such events like I am Bricks, where they are cooperating between each other and helping the businessmen of their particular municipalities and also helping the development of their particular region or the territory. When we are talking about how it would be helpful for the economic growth. Firstly, I want to say that especially after the last nine months, a lot of uh, difficult geopolitical situation in the world, all the BRICS friendly countries are very much interested to join the platform of BRICS. Because these countries, if we talk about from Latin America, from Asia or from Africa, they feel that this platform is a great opportunity for them for their country and for their citizens to grow, to develop strong relations because every country wants business, every country wants their economy to grow. At the same time, as Yulia has just said, there were more than 150 plus agreements were signed between the business entities, between the municipalities of different countries. So BRICS, I am BRICS is becoming and growing as a platform each year. Also, I want to say Africa as a continent, the future is Africa and Asia. And the countries of Africa have a very strong potential when we are talking about especially natural resources. As if you see the history of this continent, everybody knows the answer. What happened always in the history of Africa? But now in the future, together all the BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are standing together very strongly 
to support all the small African countries to support because all these countries have the equal right to develop, to grow their economies. Because, you know, when we, if we compare the BRICS plus platform with other groups, somehow this platform is feel like it's a neutral platform, especially the three countries, Russia, India, and China, that are strongly putting a lot of development, investment with many countries across the world, and especially in African continent, you can see, because Russia, India, and China together act as one of the world's biggest country in terms of economy, in terms of technology, in terms of land area or population. It is a very biggest market. So <clears throat> IM BRICS is a great platform and a huge opportunity for all the African countries to come and join this platform and grow the economy in the future for their respective countries. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Of course, uh, the goal is to see uh, that uh, uh, there is uh, development at every level. Uh, coming back to you, dear Yulia, uh, we have uh, heard uh, all the three panelists uh, highlighting uh, the importance uh, of the imperative uh, nature of the uh, Inbrix uh, uh, Municipal uh, Forum, which is actually where we talk municipal, we're talking about civility, and of course, uh, how inclusive it is. But then, uh, let's look at the, this, uh, the forum is uh, happening at a time uh, where there is the push uh, around the global world, especially in Africa, to ensure skills uh, development. Uh, does the forum ha uh, have an agenda to actually fast track skill development to see that these uh, available opportunities presented by Inbricks can be used uh, uh, positively by uh, every uh, country uh, to drive uh, uh, growth? Because at the end, uh, it's to see that the country or uh, countries are actually uh, uh, benefiting from the exchange of ideologies or the knowledge sharing to see practical uh, changes uh, in the aspect or in the spheres of uh, uh, economic development, social development, of course, uh, political development. Um, you know, I think that uh, progress um, to a certain extent depends on the ability to have alternatives to choose from, right? So the more partners you have at the um, international arena, the better you can choose uh, technologies, uh, social technologies, or you can take a look at uh, somebody else's experience in order to maybe avoid making some mistakes. You can come to this uh, global market and see what you have to offer and see what others have to offer, right? So uh, the current global transformation to a huge extent is about uh, real multipolarity coming in, right? So. Uh, now, uh, different actors are able to take a look around and see what, uh, you know, Africa has to offer, what Latin American countries have to offer, what uh, um, Arab countries have to offer, what Asia has to offer, Australia, I mean, all of those countries that were um, uh, a little bit forgotten in terms of, you know, the, 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 the global um, cooperation or were not perceived as... Uh, sovereign actors. So I think for any participant of such um, um, of such events and of such uh, um, opportunities, what's important is to have um, an option to choose from different alternatives. So when you are talking about BRICS Plus, right, you can take a look at China and its amazing uh, production potential, its amazing technological potential. You can look at India and you can see um, you know all of the um, all of the uh, work that was done starting from ancient times in the, in that country in terms of ethics, philosophy, moral values. You can take a look at the modern IT and digital technology uh, achievements in India, right? You can come to uh, South Africa. You can see the uh, uh, history of the country, which is uh, again, you know, not only the cradle of humanity, but also a history of a great struggle for social rights and South Africa has a tremendous experience in, in terms of social movements and also in terms of uh, developing uh, a very successful uh, 
uh, nation uh, that unites many different peoples, married many different ethnic groups, you know, in just, uh, let's say, 30, 40 years. So I think for um, the countries that partner uh, BRICS, uh, it offers a beautiful variety. And of course, Russia that also has a lot of technologies to offer and that also has uh, you know, with strong stand for uh, values, for, um, you know, constructive values. That's also something aside for um, energy uh, resources and oil gas that Russia has to offer. So I think this is key for social development so to be able to connect with uh, uh, partners, to be able to connect with business partners, to have connections in terms of educational exchanges, academic exchanges, and be able to choose uh, the best or let's say the optimal options for uh, specific situations. Uh, dear Yulia, uh, just to remind our viewers to uh, joining us uh, that uh, this is uh, Views on the Continent on the Pan-African Television Africa Media. Uh, we are going to continue with you, Mr. Alphonse. Uh, in our preamble, we noted that uh, there was a panel discussion that focused on uh, the uh, uh, topical issues, including uh, the future of of uh, energy and of course looking at a dialogue between uh, uh, government and businesses uh, accentuating on the small and medium sized enterprises. I will still want us to answer this question in our perspective uh, as uh, maybe you representing uh, the African continent and particularly uh, Cameroon and of course we know the challenges faced by small and medium sized enterprises uh, here in uh, Cameroon. So in, in your capacity as a, an, uh, a representative of uh, Cameroonians uh, before the Inbrix Plus Forum, what do you think can be done to bring uh, resolve to some of the major challenges facing startup companies or small and medium sized enterprises here in Cameroon? Can you activate your mic? For me, I strongly believe that our company has to acquire new technology uh, uh, of renewable energy. Of renewable energy, this is the only solution that will help our different companies to no more have uh, the difficulties for with electricity they will not have any more difficulty to manage their industries or their companies. Today, uh, there are Indians have technologies, Brazil have technology, Russian have renewable energy. They want to transfer to Africa, to municipalities, and they want to transfer that new technology to African countries or to Cameroon countries or to our companies. This is why I encourage responsible of our municipalities and responsible of our different companies to, to, to get in touch with Inbrix forums in order to, to take part of that uh, platform of exchanges of technology. We cannot continue with old technology. There are many innovative solutions today that can enable companies to provide energy with solar, with, 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 with water, on, with everything that is around us. I met there in that uh, forum people that transform waste into gas and into electricity. One of the greatest challenge of African countries is the management of waste. This waste can be turned into raw material that produces at one and the same time gas and electricity. We need to lay hold of this new technology. There is, there are, there, there is waste everywhere in all our towns, in all our municipalities. How do we manage that waste? It's not only sufficient to remove waste, but this waste has to be turned into raw material. That waste can be the raw material that produces gas and electricity. 
if each municipalities, if many African countries, many Cameroonian countries lay hold of that new technology and they implement it in Cameroon and in other towns of Africa and in different municipalities, we will have no more the problem of electricity. Different companies will be working every day in different towns and villages of Cameroon and in Africa. The school will be enlightened, hospital will be enlightened, offices will be enlightened. We will have no more problem of lack of light, lack of electricity. What I urge the responsible of our companies, the responsible of our governments, and the responsible of our municipalities is to turn to new technologies, new renewable technologies of gas and electricity through the management of waste. This will help us. We have a lot of waste. Let us acquire the technology that will enable us to transform our waste into gas and to electricity. That will be helpful. Indeed, uh, deriving waste in order to transform waste uh, into uh, gas or electricity will be a greater milestone, especially uh, for countries still having an uh, uh, electricity uh, crisis uh, across uh, the, the globe. Uh, coming back to you, Mr. Seti, uh, you made mention in your first intervention that uh, the future is Africa, the future is India, or sorry, I beg your pardon, the future is uh, Asia. Now we're going to continue in the same light, uh, bringing together the uh, IMBRIX uh, forum uh, and of course uh, uh, as an international relations expert, uh, the goal is not only to bring people together but also to ensure development that is sustainable and of course inclusive. Uh, and now we are looking at how we can use uh, the IMBRIX forum to breach uh, the gap uh, that is existing between uh, the rich and the poor uh, and of course uh, uh, when we talk about sustainable uh, development. Uh, thank you so much for your question. <clears throat> so uh, I would like to say yes, uh, as I told before that the future is Africa and Asia countries. Uh, it means a lot because you know, the whole world is now understanding the situation and the people are now slowly and slowly getting tired from the Western Bloc. Because uh, these blocks are just using the things for their selfishness. So at the same at the same time, we know that Africa is a continent which is rich in rich in many minerals and other resources. Okay. At the same time, there are a lot of grassroots level problems in Africa in different countries which are need to be rectified as soon as possible. As our friend just have shared example about waste management. Yes, I agree hundred percent. Waste management is the biggest problem, not only in Africa, but in many countries. Okay. But sharing the technologies, which already countries are having this technology, maybe Russia, maybe India, definitely would be happy to share with our African friends. At the same time, using or exporting of solar panel technology, which is one of the greatest resource, because in Africa, there is a huge amount of sunlight. So why not to use that sunlight in producing the electricity? to utilize the natural resource okay like this thing and also uh, the asian countries especially russia india and china in BRICS, are very much interested and are always doing from a long, a long time a lot of investment in africa because africa as a continent has a huge opportunities in terms of cooperation in different spheres Renew renewable energy is one part apart from that also in terms of education programs to help the young people of Africa, the, the creative minds of African future leaders to give them a platform for their growth in the future that would help in the development of their country. Apart from that, apart from that also in terms of the development of infrastructure in different countries, because I have been in different uh, five or six African countries and I understand and I feel what is the potential in Africa. Africa, different African countries are even also have a strong potential when we talk about tourism management also. So we need to work together as with Latin America, Asia and Africa, all the friendly countries to help for the better opportunities for the growth of Africa, uh, all the countries from Africa and 
also try to develop our strong trade relations in our local currencies to stop the hegemony of using the dollars or the euros for international business and trade. This is very important because this is a recently important news just a few days ago. I think from one African country and India developed the new trade relations in our local currency. It is a great move, great step. So this is the future that we need to make our ties more stronger and to stand for each other and to help each other. Thank you. Together to help each other attain uh, objectives at personal and of course at global level. But how can we do this while respecting the sovereignty of states, while respecting uh, uh, the, the government uh, uh, of stakeholders? Uh, we're going to come back to to you, uh, dear Yulia. Uh, the the forum or the uh, forum was. Uh, holding up at a time of turbulence as we earlier underlined and of course holding again at the time of a, a, a hike or an increase in the uh, geopolitical game across uh, the global world and particularly in uh, Africa did the summit or the forum discuss uh, ways and how this, uh, of course, uh, uh, can be tackled to ensure that its purpose or its objectives are met. Um, of course, we cannot ignore the context um, in which uh, this event was taking place. And uh, um, despite of the fact that the pandemic was over, uh, to a great extent, uh, the forum was hybrid, meaning that some people were physically present at the venue and some speakers were joining online uh, because of the um, complicated logistics. Now you don't find too many flights that could take you to St. Petersburg and that's a direct consequence of one of the direct consequences of the um, ongoing conflict, right, at the global level. Yet at the same time, what is necessary to underline is that in these turbulent times, we're trying to, uh, you know, build a temple of cooperation still, right? Because uh, the the current political situation, um, we see that there are a lot of factors that uh, are catalyzing uh, old problems, and that means that uh, the world will be changing maybe even faster uh, than than we could guess. And this is a very um, important point because our um, idea and one of the main ideas of the founder of this forum, uh, Mr. Chiripanov, is to um, build bridges between the countries and make sure that we do uh, what we are capable of doing, which is uh, uh, connecting municipalities and businesses and um, Civil societies, uh, civil society organizations, um, in a horizontal way. So, um, I would say that this is a um, constructive response to the global crisis, where instead of focusing on conflicts, instead of focusing on destructive agenda, we try to do what is still possible to do in order to solve the local um, issues. Yet. Uh, taking into consideration uh, the, the uh, situations taking place at the global level. But I'm absolutely sure that those little steps, those small projects, those uh, joint uh, efforts, when they're put together, they will create a significant wave in, in this uh, ocean, in this global ocean. Stay with you, uh, Yulia. Uh, as of, uh, we know, statistics or, uh, or public opinion have shown that no matter how uh, 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 an organization uh, is very ready uh, to bring about uh, changes uh, at uh, the uh, global or, or le uh, uh, local level, there is this aspect of the, the political will that is very imperative. And of course, uh, uh, let's look at uh, how can we rate the, the willingness or, or the willingness of various uh, governments involved in ensuring uh, the practicality or uh, ensuring uh, that uh, the uh, in-bricks uh, uh, meet its uh, objectives? 
You know, there is a very interesting uh, thing about BRICS. Uh, BRICS is not an organization. I mean, it's not an institution that has its own bureaucracy. So basically, BRICS is just a contact group of heads, uh, heads of states and Sherpas, which are, let's say, uh, vice ministers of foreign affairs or, you know, this uh, level of um, actors. And it means that when you hear like BRICS, um, some BRICS about some BRICS organization or alliance or something else, uh, in most cases, it's a um, bottom up uh, civic initiative, right? And then in a lot of, in a lot of situations, those get supported and get mentioned in official documents signed by the heads of states. The same thing happened to this forum, which was a, uh, you know, a, a, a bottom up grassroots um, initiative and now it's a part of the uh, Beijing declaration saying that uh, at least uh, until 2030 um, the municipal BRICS forums will be supported by the heads of state but the point that I'm making here is that uh, this format uh, opens up quite a lot of um, opportunities right and it's not uh, BRICS itself it's not uh, you know a bureaucratic um, institution with uh, uh, regulated um, actions that could be taken. It's very much open for different types of formats. And when we have uh, such discussions, including the forum ones, uh, we're absolutely sure that we're being heard by uh, the heads of uh, the heads of BRICS countries and, you know, above and beyond that. So this is a um, direct uh, uh, example of how um, something very grassroots may grow into um, a global network of uh, people focused on you know specific practical businesses people focused on specific practical solutions for issues that are in common much uh, dear Yulia uh, let's continue with you Mr. Alphonse so, uh, the uh, forum uh, listening to the uh, analysis that have been made so far and of course uh, highlighting the advantages of the uh, available opportunities uh, that uh, in BRICS plus forum stands to present we see that uh, the place of the young people actually uh, matters in this uh, 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 forum now let's come you know there's, there's this drive uh, of uh, industrialization, of course, uh, uh, entrepreneurship, I beg your pardon. And now we are looking at how uh, the, uh, the forum can be a platform to inculcate uh, uh, the young talent in Africa and particularly in Cameroon to uh, uh, make good use of these uh, uh, available resources, uh, uh, opportunities. You talked about uh, the fact that uh, there is going to be funding uh, for uh, small and medium-sized enterprises how can we drive young people to be intentional about taking advantages of uh, such uh, uh, opportunities, of course, to ensure uh, that the uh, uh, get uh, an inclusive, uh, uh, how can I put it, uh, to have those uh, opportunities uh, to ensure that they grow their businesses? The Inbricks Forum is can be qualified like an incubator of entrepreneurs and an incubator for young industrials that all kind of formats are possible there. Young Africans who need to be trained as far as entrepreneurship or industrialization is concerned can receive that knowledge, can acquire that knowledge. Young Africans that have innovative ideas, that have elaborated project or written project and who are looking for fundings are welcome into the BRICS, in BRICS forums, because there they have the opportunity to, to present their projects in front of different investors, in front of investors of Russia, investors of India, investors of South Africa, investors of Brazil. Last time, I myself, Alfonso Chamzok, I presented many projects during the Business Cafe and another platform was created to me to present many projects. All other young Africans that were there also did the same thing. This is, this is the right place for young Africans to see their dream come true. I know many young Africans, very intelligent, have innovative ideas, they have projects, but they do not know how to get connected 
with investors. They don't know where to present their projects in order to mobilize fundings that will enable them to turn their dreams to come a reality, to come true. The Inbrix Forums is that platform that enable young African entrepreneurs and young industrial to see their dream to come true. I strongly believe that it is only through entrepreneurship and industrialization that young Africans can create decent jobs. It is only through entrepreneurship and industrialization that young Africans can fight against poverty. It is only through entrepreneurship and industrialization that young Africans can create wealth and prosperity with the added value of processing our raw material with those income, they will be able to improve their living conditions and to improve the living conditions of many people of their areas. Look, for example, I'm from the Eastern region. If I create an industry that process cassava or corn or maize in Betwa or in Yokaduma, it will create an economic pole that will attract many youth that will find decent job there. And this will generate many other activities that will generate incomes in the neighborhood of the place that the industry will be, will be installed. This is why I strongly encourage youth that are interested by entrepreneurship and industrialization to, 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 to how do we say it, to get connected with Inbrix forums. It will help them to see their dream come true. Uh, helping them see if their dreams uh, come true of course it's not all about the willingness but then how intentional are the young people across the continent africa to uh, make good use of these available opportunities i always love to quote uh, uh rwandan president paul kagame who has always challenged young people not to wait for opportunities but of course to dare and of course uh, make a great a great milestone and contribute their own quarter in yeah. uh, the building yeah. of uh, the uh, continent as a whole uh, coming to you mr city we're going to continue with this country uh, question let's understand or uh, uh, analyze the role of imbrix forum in uh, shaping uh, the uh, world order uh, we actually we are aware of the changes that are taking place across the global world today so what do you think is the role of the imbrix plus forum in changing or shaping this uh, uh, new world order? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for this question. So this is a very interesting uh, question that you have asked because uh, when we are talking about the future world order or uh, the new multipolar world, uh, I feel that platforms like I am BRICS Forum plays a very important role because you see BRICS and BRICS friendly countries are very important for this, especially when we are talking about the African countries. I feel that African countries or Latin American countries, we need their strong support to make a future better world and a new multipolar world. Okay. Uh, because of all the ge geopolitical situation which is happening around the world and before that, the pandemic, lock lockdown, so every country in the world suffered a huge losses in their economy. Continuously, the GDP of the countries are falling down. And as I was watching your some videos, like uh, you just showcased about the wheat production, you can see Russia, India, China are the three top producers in the world. So a lot of countries are making this agenda about food crisis, taking into account about this uh, geopolitical situation, but this is only an excuse. Okay, so I am BRICS countries, platform plays a very important role. Firstly, second point, I want to say, that this platform act, uh, act as a uniting of all the friendly countries together and to utilize our connections, our diplomatic relations, our friendly relations, business cooperation between the businessmen, small and medium uh, business enterprises, young talented peoples between the countries to make strong new cooperation for the future and the better world. Okay. And also I would like to add that 
if you see why many countries are interested to join such the block of BRICS, as Miss Yulia just said, BRICS, this is just a group of five countries. So if you see, BRICS is one organization that does not have any registered headquarters. So it is not like G20 or G7. This is something different. This is basically the group of five countries which are helping their own country and parallelly, they are also helping all those small developing countries to invest, support each other. And this is why now each country recently you say, uh, saw like Iran, Saudi Arabia, uh, then Algeria, Argentina, these all countries have shown strong interest to join this BRICS block because these countries now watching and feeling what the truth is happening when we compare this with G20 or G7 groups. So they are feeling much more better opportunities on the BRICS plus platform. And that is why I am BRICS is one example which would shape up the future new world order and support the countries between each other for a strong and better relation and make this world a better place. Uh, supporting and ensuring uh, uh, integration and at, uh, at every uh, level. I'll be coming back to you, uh, uh, Mr. Seti, but then let's continue with uh, uh, Yulia. We want to answer the same question about uh, creating, uh, uh, using the imbricks uh, in shaping this uh, new world other something that seems uh, to be very imminent uh, in uh, the uh, uh, present uh, or the contemporary world. Um, you know, um, when we talk about political events and when we talk about, um, you know, some global issues, we tend to focus on some heads of states, we tend to focus on uh, big organizations and strong players, yet at the same time, uh, the ones who are supposed to be the most important for us should be our, uh, you know, neighbors, our family, our community, because those are the people that... Uh, we interact with every day and the quality of life in our communities should be the key, right? Sure. So um, when we talk about the um, municipal forum, I think that uh, this is the platform that is supposed to have uh, much more power, right? Uh, because uh, the quality of life in our municipalities defines our own quality of life. And this is how the real changes start, you know, as. Uh, as it was said in this uh, famous quote, uh, "Be the change that you want to uh, that you want to see," and uh, that goes valid uh, also for our countries. We can talk about high-level politics. We can talk about uh, what heads of states are thinking and doing and everything else. But unless we go out to our own community and take a look around and see what can be done to make it better. Uh, we will not really see any major improvements. And I'm a strong believer that uh, civic initiatives and such, uh, you know, bottom-up and grassroots uh, initiatives uh, should be having more uh, power in them. But this also depends on the focus of our attention, right? Um, it also depends on what we choose to support with our thoughts, with, with our actions, and with our ge energy, generally speaking. So I'm really hoping that uh, those horizontal ties and those direct relations, civil diplomacy, business diplomacy, you know, uh, tourism, uh, and educational exchanges would be blossoming because this is a way to uh, ensure a better quality of life for individuals, not for some uh, heads of states or celebrities. Okay, thank you for that, uh, Yulia. Uh, coming to you, uh, Mr. Alphonse, uh, let's look at it. Uh, today, uh, or in the contemporary society, when we talk Africa, we think about great projects uh, that are on the way, especially economic projects that can unite uh, the continent Africa. And of course, uh, this time around, I am talking about the African continent uh, free trade uh, area. We know Africa uh, is uh, a great hub uh, for 
for for investment so uh, how can you or how imperative is the imbrix forum uh, it's made up of of course b, uh, business uh, magnates and of course uh, investors uh, so how have you presented uh, the uh, image of africa uh, before this forum to make it uh, uh, very practical or real that the continent actually is a future investment uh, hub for, for the uh, global world? The first thing to understand here is that Africa is the, the continent of the future. Africa is the continent of the opportunities. Africa is the richest continent of the world as far as raw material is concerned we african must know it africa must stop behaving like a followers african should rise and start behaving like an actor of international relations we have what the whole world needs we have our world to say on the international scene we must stop being the one that produce things and order are the one that fix the price. The Imbrix forums is a great opportunity for Africans today in the international scene because in the Imbrix forums or with the BRICS group in the collaboration in the cooperation with the BRICS group, you will come to realize that there is no master and there is no slave. There is a spirit of brotherhood. There is a spirit of justice in economic relations. There is a spirit of win-win and South-South cooperation where Africans discuss with Russian, Brazilian, Indians, and South Africans like equals, like brothers, where each of us agreed before to develop a cooperation where Africa has its own world to say in an economic transaction. Not that the price is fixed in London and the producer of my cocoa is in Yokaduma. No, no, no. This is the kind of cooperation that we young Africans say no today. Today, we like the economic cooperation that enables to African countries to receive something that will enable our countries, our municipalities, and our people to improve their living condition. The BRICS platforms represent a great opportunity because here we can see with our naked eyes the concrete actions of different investment, we can see with our naked eyes the concrete action or the concrete benefits that comes out with, through the cooperation with Russia, with India, with China, or with Brazil. This is why today, as an African, we love Africa, we love my country, Cameroon, and we love my people. I strongly work hard in order to develop and to encourage African countries, our municipalities and our companies to get connected with in-BRICS forums and with BRICS countries in order to develop a partnership where, which is win-win. This is the only kind of partnership that will help us to see the benefits of our raw material today. The in-BRICS forums is a great opportunity that is shaping the new world order. The five countries of BRIC represent the 40% of the world population. With the connection with other developing countries that are getting connected to BRICS today, in few days or in few months or in few years, this collaboration will reach the 50% of the world. And this will balance the power in the international scene, we need a multipolar world. We are fed up of the unipolar world where there is one master who defines all the values 
that order are supposed to follow. No. That has not brought development in Africa. It has not brought prosperity in Africa. It has not brought riches or wealth in Africa. African intellectuals, African diplomats, African leaders, and African youth who love Africa, who love their people, who want to foster development in their countries, in their municipalities, and in their local communities, must deal today only with people that agree with win-win in the kind of cooperation which is win-win. This is the kind of cooperation that we need. And the cooperation with BRIC countries in the atmosphere of friendship and solidarity is what will help Africa to grow. While discussing with BRIC uh, authorities, there is something which is very important. They want to transfer technology to Africa. They want to transfer technology to our municipality. They want to transfer technology to our companies. We need technology. It is technology that will help us Africans to transform our raw material. It is that technology that will enable us to build infrastructure. It is that technology that will enable us to boost the production of our agriculture. It is that technology that will enable us to do great achievements in all the domains of life in Africa that will improve the life of Africans and that will change Africa and that will bring wealth and prosperity in Africa for everyone. Thank you. Okay. Uh, course is to ensure uh, cooperation, or of course, to promote cooperation that will ensure economic autonomy of uh, nations, especially uh, Africa. It's of course time, like the, the African Union Commission Chair Musafa Kip Mahmoud underlined uh, some time ago that uh, it is time for Africa to redefine its position at uh, the uh, international uh, level, conversant with the fact that the continent is uh, well endowed with both natural and of course human capital. It is imperative to use this to fast track development uh, across the, the African continent and the time is now as you for underlined uh, Mr. Uh, Fons, the time is now for Africa to take uh, the opportunities of course to stand firm and of course defend her position at uh, the international uh, fora. Uh, let's have a concluding word from you uh, uh, dear Sete. Uh, uh, we are almost culminating uh, so uh, what do you have to say regarding uh, the future uh, 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 engagements between in BRICS and nations. So, yeah, so thank you so much for my concluding remark. I just want to say that platform like I am BRICS creates for the all the friendly countries in the world, especially not only for the municipalities of the country, but it acts as a platform for the civil society, for the young people, for the business organizations between the countries to come and act together to make special strong cooperation between our countries and to develop more and more stronger ties between each other and help the friendly countries in the development of their country, their economy, infrastructure, and a sector friendly relation between the countries and help to bring peace in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. Tia, coming to you, dear Yulia, we're culminating uh, uh, your last uh, statement regarding uh, a topic for a discussion this day, and of course, uh, what uh, INBRIC seeks uh, to uh, uh, attain in the nearest uh, future. Yulia Bird. Next year will be extremely important for the relations of BRICS and African countries because South African presidency starts in 2023 and the whole year will be very much focused on the African continent. So uh, several years ago during the previous um, um, South African presidency in BRICS, the BRICS plus format was actively being used. Uh, 
by um, different countries in order to join this movement. So uh, I think that our discussion today is very much timely and thank you so much for uh, having a discussion on this topic because uh, 2023 will define uh, the relations of BRICS countries um, and Africa for the upcoming, uh, let's say, five, seven years. And next year as well, the uh, municipal forum will be taking place. There will be the civil forum, the cultural forum, academic forum, all of the uh, regular annual um, events of BRICS. And I think that uh, those would be very interesting, especially again for uh, African countries and their representatives, because South Africa will be defining a lot to it. And uh, right after South African presidency in 2024, uh, Russia will be presiding, and we're hoping that we will have many, many guests from different countries of African continent, from Latin America as well, uh, from Asian countries at the uh, uh, at the seventh uh, International Municipal Breaks uh, Forum. But next year as well, it will be uh, very interesting, and I'm hoping that those horizontal ties would be resulting in fruitful uh, cooperation and in uh, mutually beneficial business projects and in many cultural and educational exchanges. This is very imperative. Uh, one last word from you, Mr. Alphonse, before we uh, uh, culminate. Uh, what do you think to, uh, what do you have to say? Of course, we know, we are aware that there is this wind of change that is already blowing across Africa, the reawakening, of course. Uh, so uh, what do you have to say, especially uh, to the uh, youth in Africa as we uh, uh, culminate this program? As the official ambassador of international municipal forums from Cameroon and Africa, what I say is that it's the time for Africa to arise and shine. It's the time for Africa to build strategic partnership that will enable Africa to, to, to blossom. And this is through cooperation with BRICS countries. And we will work hard to sensitize many African countries so that in, in BRICS 2023, many African countries, African municipalities, and African and Africa company should be present at the Inbrics Forum to, 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 to acquire that exchange of technology, exchange of knowledge, economic opportunity, and to get connected with different business opportunities that are present at the Indrix Forums. Thank you. Uh, Alphonse, thank you for your uh, participation. I want to extend a, a special thank you to uh, our guest uh, for today. Uh, thank you for the great insight on the, this very important uh, topic in BRICS Forum. Uh, looking at the prospects for the African continent, of course, as underlined, Africa has all it takes to emerge. Africa has all it takes to be at the top. But then uh, we need uh, the strong political will. We need uh, the willingness of so uh, from the uh, uh, stakeholders, other stakeholders, we need the involvement of the vibrant uh, uh, young population uh, in uh, Africa to ensure that uh, the perspectives are made to ensure that uh, the objectives are attained. And I also take this uh, opportunity to thank uh, the technical crew for ensuring that the program was a success. Thank you all for joining us at this day and keep having a lovely moment in the company of our transmissions on Afric Media Television. I'll be with you same time tomorrow to talk again about very topical or important uh, issues uh, concerning uh, the African continent and the global world. And of course, thank you. Bye bye for now. Appreciate it. I very appreciate all what you are talking about. It. Good day and good day to all the viewers of our media. Thank you. Thank you.